Hey Hope City, welcome to 7 at 7 on Thursday night. My name is Adam Otten. I'm glad you get to join me. I'm glad you get to watch this video, whether live or whether you're watching, watching later. Uh, it's all good. Um, tonight, we are once again recapping uh, Pastor uh, Evangelist Ron Yates' message that he gave on uh, the 8th. Uh, death, uh, part of our Freedom is Here series, Death, The Last Enemy. All right, I really love that title. It's awesome. Um, core scripture being 2 Corinthians 3.17. I want to start off by reading that, and then we'll get into it uh, furthermore. Uh, 2 Corinthians 3.17. Now the Lord uh, I'm referring to is the Holy Spirit, and wherever he, wherever he is a Lord, there is freedom. Wherever he is Lord, there is freedom. Amen. Um, so the... the the first verse that um, he, Pastor or Evangelist Ron, I'm going to say that a hundred times during this video, uh, Ron led off with was 1 Corinthians 15 26. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death, right? Death is the last enemy. That is really, really good news. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Not because it's the last enemy or because you have to think about it all this time um, until, you know, until the end times, you know, come or whatever, but because it is going to be destroyed, that is absolutely going to happen. Death is just a part of what we go through. Death is a part of life, right? Ask Lazarus. Uh, I preached on him last night at youth. Um, so death is death is a thing, but it will be destroyed, and uh, we find freedom in that absolutely. Um, I want to go on to read another verse that Pastor Ron, shoot, that Ron uh, read. Um, to us on Sunday morning, uh, Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. <clears throat> this is the NLT. Uh, 14 says, Because God's children are human beings, <clears throat> excuse me, made flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood, for only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil. Only by dying could he what? Break the power of the devil, who had the power of death. Only in this way could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. So what happened, right? The the son came and he was flesh and blood. He became man. And then he, only as a human being, he died. He gave his life for us, right? I mentioned that I talked about Lazarus last night at uh, Hope City Youth and the the awesome the awesome part of that story is yeah that Lazarus was raised to death praise God for Lazarus being raised to death he was extra extra dead and so Jesus came along and said let me pull you out and uh, and let me pull you out of that grave and so he raised him back up from life but Lazarus was gonna die again right he didn't he wasn't raised to life back to life with the knowledge that okay I've done my my part I've paid my dues I've died once. Now I'm never gonna die again. No, he he actually in the very next chapter was was being sought after by the people who were trying to kill Jesus, then were now trying to kill Lazarus, right? He was going to die again. We serve a Jesus that has conquered hell, death, and the grave. And because we are our are, are Christ followers, because we found our freedom, find our freedom in Jesus. We don't have to worry about being dead to our sin, and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself um, from where Ron talked about this in his message. We are. We don't have to be dead in our sin. We don't have to. Uh, we don't have to die to 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 our our sinful nature, to our selfish ways. But we can say, because I serve a God, because I serve a Jesus who has risen again. Right? We are not dead. In, in our sin anymore because he came as man and we don't have to be afraid uh, or fearful of, of our sin uh, you know taking our life right um, death it was swallowed up in victory right he said that victory has a big mouth um, and I'm you know thankful for that I won't moving on uh, 1 Corinthians 15 uh, 54 through 56 so when this corrupt uh, corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immorality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory 
O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. The sting of death is sin. And then he goes on to give the definition of sting. Uh, strong, strong concordance. Uh, a sting is that of bees, scorpions, locusts, and iron goad for urging an oxen, horses, and other beasts of burden. Right? So, once... Because death is swallowed up in victory, death has no sting. Death has no f place in my life. I have no place for fear. I'm not fearful of death. I don't have to worry about it. Lazarus knew he was going to die again, and he wasn't fearful of it. He said, let me tell people of my story. Let me tell people about the one who called me out. And we can we can walk in that same victory. We can walk in that same way and say, we're not worried about death. We're not worried about the sting because it has no sting. Back to the... Uh, second, uh, se second verse I read today, First Corinthians five twenty six. The last enemy of death will, or the last enemy that will be destroyed is death. It will be destroyed. And in our core scripture, wherever He is Lord, there is freedom. I have the Lord in my heart, right? I have the Lord in 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 my in my thought life, in my soul, in my spirit, man. So I don't have to be afraid. There, there is not a portion of my life that the devil can have a stronghold on me that would cause me to die, that would cause me to stay dead in my sin because I serve a Jesus who conquered all of that. Yeah. Check my time. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm almost done. Um, oh, <laughs> lastly, before I, can, before I get off of here, um, one of the points uh, Ron made was we have been freed from the law of sin and, of sin and death. Uh, Romans 2 3 he went on to read that verse before I end this video uh, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and account of sin he condemned sin in flesh what did he do he condemned sin in flesh so, so came to earth fully man but fully God condemned it and said I'm going to I'm going to take care of this for this I'm going to take care of this for all and 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 like I read in the verse earlier that was the only way that he that he could uh free us from the fear of death right so this is your 7 at 7 tonight um great message from Evangelist Ron on uh this past Sunday on the 8th hey continue to watch your 7 at 7s and um Join us on Sunday at church, or if you can't, watch us on the live stream. It'll bless you. I promise you that. Hey, be blessed. Be good. Uh, love you guys.